Hi, this is Donald at Steambright Supply, and this truck mount showed up with no water pressure, and so we've done a couple things to it. One is the electric clutch was not hooked up, so we fixed that issue. Um, the other is that the engine itself wasn't even turning on, so we fixed that issue. And the customer asked us to change the pressure regulator on the front of the truck mount, so we fixed that issue. And now when we start the truck mount, it still doesn't build any pressure. So the first thing that, that I wanted to point out is the rule of, of suction feeding. There is no transfer pump feeding water to this pump. It's actually pulling it from this tank here. And the first thing that you'll see here is that the over here is a um, half inch pipe thread connection. And the rule of thumb for suction feeding pumps is that if you're going to suction feed, the water pump, the hose that you're using to suction feed, it must be one size larger than the pipe thread size. So if this has half inch pipe thread, that means the hose that goes between here and the bottom of the tank should be three quarter inch hose. And it is not. Instead, the way it came in is it has three eighths inside diameter hose and goes all the way around to over here to a further restriction device and then leaves that device and comes all the way back up here to the uh, suction side of the pump. Uh, that's usually going to cause the seals to fail in a pump when you're starving it that aggressively. Um, I would suggest if they're going to want to continue to use this machine that, that the shortest hose possible be made from that point on the bottom of the tank up here to the pump with three quarter inch hose and then we um, also should have some type of filter because that's the other thing that we notice with this design is as trash ends up in the tank there's nothing in here to protect this pump from getting filled up with garbage so uh, we did also change the oil on the pump to the correct level when it showed up it was filled up all the way and the correct level should be actually a 50% mark and on the back of it there is a, a view window to make sure that you're at the 50% level so it should be halfway across the window when you finish changing the oil you do not want to fill it up all the way. Uh, the other thing that I notice is that the caps are supposed to be vented and we'll have to probably pull this cap back off just to make sure if it doesn't have a vent in it it'll have to have a hole drilled in it to make sure it's vented. And normally they come with two caps. One is a shipment cap to keep oil from coming out in the box during shipment and that'll be a solid cap but you have to throw those away uh, and put a vented cap on the top because as this is being used it gets hot and the oil gets hot, the crankcase expands and that pressure has to go somewhere. So if you've lost your vented cap you have to drill a hole in the top there. It can be just a sixteenth inch hole but you do have to have some kind of ventilation for it. And uh, so that's what we're going to recommend to the customer that they consider making these changes. And uh, thanks for watching.